Good morning, good morning. Set yourself up. Blocks, strap for this sequence. The oil. And your playlist is six Ajna. You can always find that on my website or on Instagram or on YouTube or on the... We try to put it as many places as possible. So that you have music there and I have music here and we are connected. Super. Perfect use for a very aged iPad. I'm ready to go. So, if you have the oil, it goes to the center of the forehead, the crown of the head, the base of the skull, and to the base of the spine. That the brain really is this extension of energy up through the body and gathered and processed in that space. Everything about the physicality of this practice is preparing us to sit upright quietly, to see our thoughts clearly for a minute. So we're spending 59 minutes to try to find one moment of clarity. And in that one moment of clarity that something could be revealed. And so just sometimes we're getting on our bicycle boat and we're riding somewhere to get to that destination. This afternoon my son will get on his bike and he'll ride to a friend's house. And he's riding to get there. So we are riding our physical body to arrive at a state of revelation, of clarity. And in that clarity, an evolution that we could see and behave in a new way. If we get caught simply in the physicality we get caught in that really wonderful parable of I'm pointing at the moon. Have you ever tried to point to a bird outside and you're showing your cat? Look, look, you see the bird? And the cat's like looking at the window, looking at your hand, smelling your shirt. And you're so trying to show, look, look, it's so amazing. Can you see the bird? No. So if we get too caught up in the physical body, we're going to end up looking at our finger. And instead, I'm asking, everything we're doing is to get free of that, to see beyond what we're familiar with. To see absolutely whatever we're pointed at. To bring your palms together. Om Namo, I bow to everything outside of me all that guides me and heals me and holds me. Guru Dev Namo, I bow to everything inside of me that rises to meet it all. Outside and in, we are guided. Three times, we yeah. Suffocating. 
Walk your thighs back, walk your arms out, either palms down or the pinky edge of your hands down, and then rest your forehead onto the blanket. And in this posture, begin a long, deep breath. Begin to a smile. Nothing else is asked of you right now. Set it all down. Set down a little more. All the questions you're carrying with you have answers. Softening and deepening your breathing. To walk your hands back. To bring your blanket back. To bring your knees onto the blanket. On your inhale, return, hands, knees, tuck your toes, on your exhale, down dog, keep your knees bent, keep your heels high, and then knees down, hands, knees, and exhale, child's pose. Just keep moving from hands and knees to child, from hands and knees to dog. You may need to inch your fingertips forward as you make more space. Pause for a beat when you get to your dog. Walk your dog, wag your tail. Move through the soles of your feet the sides of your hips, the sides of your shoulders. Pause. Knees to the floor. Good. With your hands and knees down, keep your left hand forward. Thumb up. Right heel straight back. So press your right thumb base down into the floor. Bring your navel into your body so that you don't collapse. And on an exhalation, elbow to knee. Inhale, you reach. You're creating an ability to stabilize your physical body. Press down into the left knee, down into the base of your right thumb, and out into your fingers and your heel. For two, for one, pause, press your thumb down, navel to body. And bringing your knees down, put your block under your left hand, pivot your left foot left, put your right foot flat to the floor. So when you do, the hips tend to be back. As you sweep your right hand over, send your hips forward as you can. Excellent. Reach over high towards me. And then bend your right elbow to your knee. Lift your knee to your elbow. Inhale, opening. And exhale, close. The hips move forward and back. That you could open from your navel all the way to your hips as you unfold. And keep your right foot to the floor now. And find a bit of a back bend. Pivot your left foot closer to your hand. Left hip forward. Spin your heart high, your chest broad. Whew. 
And the right hand comes down and we return. Set the block to the right. And take your right hand out and your right thumb up and your left heel back. Find the collapse and fix it. Press your left thumb base into the floor. Tuck your chin, elbow to knee. Inhale, open, exhale, close. So you stabilize this posture, this gesture, by stabilizing your navel up back toward the spine. Use the breath out. And let the elbow and knee swing to meet and release for two and for one. Good. Right hand comes down onto your block under your right shoulder. Right toes turn out to the right and the left foot goes flat to the floor. Left hand overhead. Left elbow to knee, tuck your chin. And then foot to the floor, hips forward. Your pace. Opening and closing, hips go forward and back. Starting down in the hinge of the hips, starting at the navel, send your hips forward. Now pivot your right toes closer to your right hand. Hips come forward, navel opens, find the back bend, the chest, the arms wide. And then bringing the left hand down, set the block aside. Down, go. So you've made some length in the low belly, in the low body. Let that lift your hips a little higher. Walk your feet to your hands. Sit down on your blanket. <laughs> set your heels wide. And so with your heels at the edge of your mat, let your knees wash side to side until you can feel that the hips are turning the spine. Where can you allow this movement to create an opening? Three, two. And the left leg straightens to the floor. The left hand holds your outer right heel. Press and turn your navel to the right, and then bending, turn back forward. And it becomes quick and simple. And we trust the quality of repetition, standing both heels. And reach your right hand back, thumb up, and keep your hand off the floor. Begin to turn through the ribs, turn through the chin from shoulder to shoulder. One more. And press both heels forward towards the front of the mat and turn your chin to the back shoulder, to the front shoulder, and feel that you're turning the navel, turning the ribs. Stay three. Broaden your chest. Two. So the navel is turning right. You put your right foot, right thigh to the floor, bend your left heel into your body. And then fingertips wide on either side of your thigh to fold. So if you sit with your hips on the edge of the blanket, it will tip you forward. And if you need to, if you're really tight, just fold your blanket in half one more time. It'll make a significant difference in your spine. And as you fold forward, walk your left hand a little more. So that the right hip goes back and the spine goes forward. And the left hip drops into the blanket and the left hand reaches long. Keep the legs and unfold if you need to. Unfold your blanket beneath you. To find tree on your back. Left hand to your left thigh, right hand overhead. Use your left hand and help the left side down. Stand in your right heel. Reach your right hand overhead and allow breath all the way through the tips of your toes, up the shin, all the way up to the right rib, right lung, right hand. And 
bending your knees, come back up. Heels wide, knees side to side. So we're loosening the pelvis, the hips, the low body. The right leg goes to the floor, the right hand outside the left heel, press out, turn. So at first you're just turning. You can even simply turn through the chin and think, oh, look at me, I'm turning. And I want you to begin to really stand in your heels and turn through the navel. <sighs> Lift your left hand, thumb up. Turn through the rib cage. <sighs> Rinsing the spine as you do. And keeping your left heel high, press and take your heels a little towards the front of the mat and it sits you upright, now the chin only. And in this way, we're clearing from the base of the spine through the mid-back, all the way to the way in which the spine meets the base of your skull. Stay. And right leg long, left heel in. Hold your blanket up if that was useful. Little tip to the hips. Hold down. That's an exhale. Floating up, that's an inhale. Nothing more is needed. Let it be long, let it be slow. You walk your right hand out a little bit more. Sit your right hip back and down. Can you get a little more breath into your right side ribs? As you unfold, you can unfold the blanket, but keep your legs in the same position. Finding tree, right hand on the right thigh, left heel long, left hand overhead. Your right hand is helping to peel the front body wide open. Stand into your left heel, and also stand into the right, your right heel finding the left thigh. Bending your knees, roll yourself up, set your blanket aside. Actually, you can leave it right there and get your strap. And notice how the fronts of your thighs are wide across the pelvis, and the strap is wide enough that you can come up and over without involving your expression, without baffling your joints. So a little, yeah, yeah, a little bit. All the here. Can you get it up under your diaphragm? Can it get across the fronts of your hips? And pause with your hands overhead. Drop to the left. Sweep your hands across the front. And then up and over. So you're making a big circle through the back, across the top. Bigger bend in your knees through the arms and the chest. We'll reverse, drop to the right, sweep across to the left, up and over. Where is it needed? Use your feet, use your breathing. Good. And just pause, arms wide, arms wide, stay three. It's gonna get a little racy, stay two. Opening your armpits, your elbows. And down the front, let it go. Facing the front of your mat. Keep your hands up high. Bring your palms together. Drop your thumbs down your back. Elbows coming in. Tuck your chin. A little wag the tail. So reaching your elbows up and your thumbs down. This is exhale. Release your hands high. Look up. This is inhale. Hands down. Knees bend. Step your left foot back. Left knee down to the blanket. And then swing your hands up high. And swing your hands and let your hips move forward and back. But the purpose of ajna, this space, this chakra, is not 
the force or the work. Take your hands up high, put your thumbs together, trust your body. Drop your thumbs down your back, tuck your chin. That's exhale. Hands up high, look up, inhale. Fold, set it down, down dog. Stepping back, the body and knees. No hurry in the movements, no force. Left foot up, right knee down. Hands up high. Let go. As you open the grip of your gestures, your movements, that you don't have to work quite so hard or punish yourself in any way, you're opening to revelation, to what's possible. Hands high, thumbs down the back, tuck the chin, elbows in, and release up. Hands down, stepping up. Hands wide, sit down, thumbs up, hands up. And thumbs down the back, here's an exhale. Hands high, inhale, look up. Fold, right foot, right knee. Hands up, down the back. And release. And fold, down the up. Right foot, left knee. Down the back. Look up and step up. Hands wide, sit down, thumbs up, stand up. Down the back, tuck the chin. Release. Don't fold. Hands down. Right knee to your chest. Left heel down. Left hand high. Deliberate. Center. Left knee to rise, interlace. Hold your left knee high, right heel down. Right hand high. And center. Top of the right foot. Left hand to hip or left hand high. Hips come forward. And change. And tree. Right foot to ankle, to calf, or to thigh. Right palm to thigh, left hand to rib. Or overhead. Center. Right heel down, left heel to ankle, to calf, or to thigh. Hands knees. Hands a step forward. Elbows down. Hands knees. Down dog. Knees bent, hips high. Hands knees. Elbows. Exhale. Inhale, hands knees. Out to dog. Hands knees. Elbows. Keep wrapping your elbows closer and closer towards each other. Start to look forward the whole time. Look forward, draw this energy forward. Open your chest, open your upper back, knees down, elbows down. Work here or we'll press from dog to plank. And maybe no knees. To 
dog to plank to dog with elbows to plank find yours become steady strengthen the upper back open the shoulder girdle two one in child's pose walk your fingers out hold your tail back stay for three Close your eyes. Our purpose is to reveal a clarity that is already ours. Rise up. Feet walk to the hands. Hands to the hips. Stand tall. Heels down. Imagine you're doing tree with both legs. You're balancing each leg into the floor. Turn your thumbs to point away from your body. So the upper arm bones are rolling. Open the shoulder blades to the spine. Keep that and turn your palms back in. Make a fist. Be deliberate. Press your knuckles down to the mat. Begin a breath with a ha. Eyes closed, mouth closed, out the nose. Lift your chin. Take your time and keep exploring the lift of your chin, the pulse of your breath. The arms are strong. The legs are strong. The face is soft. back down and facing dog. We are establishing the physical circumstances for revelation. So the outer body is creating the landscape necessary for us to see differently. Knees are soft, arms are long, thumbs are heavy, outer shoulders wrap back. You can float your heels, let your knees bend. There's buoyancy in the legs. Long, deep breathing. If it gets to be too much, put your knees down. Walk your hands forward into half dog. Right? Work up to the strength of your arms. Work up to the strength of your mind that you can hold this position. And the eyes close and your attention is in the way in which your breathing opens your chest and anchors your navel. Inhale to the chest. Exhale at the navel. Broadening across the front of your shoulder girdle. Broadening across the collarbones, dropping the head. For three. 
longer in the arms for two. Let your hips start to move side to side, feeling an opening through the side ribs, side waist. And step your right foot up to your outside of your right hand. Put a block underneath your left hand. Right hand to the right thigh. As you send your right thigh right, let the inner edge of your right foot peel off the floor. Use the center of your right heel to draw your hips forward. Work there or right hand high. Work there or right hand holds the left foot. Find the back bend just as you did in the warm up for four. Hips coming forward, chest is broad. Expand the chest, inhale, navel to spine, exhale. Out the jaw, out the face, out the eyes. And the right hand comes down, changing sides, step back, block to the right side. And the left foot outside of the left hand, right knee down, turn your left toes out, right hand onto the block, left hand on the left thigh, press away. Use your left heel to draw your hips forward. As your hips come forward, your heart comes up. Chest is open. Work there or left hand high. Work there or holding the back foot. Find the back bend, hips forward. Inhale to the chest, exhale, navel to spine. Be changed. That's what you're experiencing. You're experiencing change. You're experiencing the threshold of moving from what you knew to what you will know. Releasing, hands down, step back, downward facing dog. Three. Feel the space in your inhalation. Feel the stability at your navel. Drop your head a little more. And fold your blanket in half, setting it aside. Walk your feet to your hands, sit down, lie back. Knees bent, feet flat, just pause right there and let yourself recalibrate. We exert a force, a direction. And this is an important activity. And then we let go and we receive what that force provides. You may feel a little tremble through the legs, through the feet. Let that tremble into you, through you, shaking loose what's unnecessary, the wisdom of the body, releasing past stress. And as this surfaces, as these old ways are broken through and are no longer necessary, we expel them and we clear the way, just as we would rinse sweat off of our bodies. And the breath of fire is a clarifying breath. So lift your head and shoulders, reach forward. If you need to, hold the outer thighs. Turn your thumbs away. If not, open your mouth and find a whisper of ha. Excellent. Close your mouth. Same breath right out the nose. If you're pregnant around your cycle, long, deep breathing right here. And you, if you're pregnant around your cycle, are going to drop right back into half happy baby. We, if not, right hand to right shin, left leg long, steady breath.
So it's a clarifying breath. It's not a breath of survival. It's, it's a breath of possibility. It's like sweeping all the eraser bits off of your paper after you've cleaned a mistake off the paper and you've changed your mind. Left knee in, right leg long. Good, two hands up, bring your knees together, right there. Feel frisky, straighten your legs. There's the full pose. If you're really lucky, you'll tremble. Keep rearranging, keep rearranging, keep changing. Five, four, three, two, bend your knees, hands to shins, head, shoulders to the floor, pause. Feet flat, palms open. Be rearranged, be willing. Right now, fall apart. Let what needs to shake, shake. Big breath, big breath, in and out. Roll all the way up and over, build kneeling a block between your heels, two if it's better. If you have a bolster, you can slide the bolster between your heels and put your hands on your thighs. Big gray one. You put it lengthwise behind me. Yeah, man. Both. Good. Hands on thighs. Inhale forward, exhale back. Close your eyes, let your body move. Soften your chest, soften your spine, let it simply follow, let it respond. Hips are driving. You're letting everything come loose. Inhale, exhale. Trace your attention right up through the spine. Move through that line with light, with awareness to the crown of your head, to the midbrain. Bright, chin up, breath out, hands down, awareness at the midbrain. At the center of the organ of your brain is bright. We reside there, but we give ourselves a physical shape to emphasize this. Most modified, if child's pose is not appropriate to your hips and your ankles, go to belly down. The way we went out, the way we began. So that you're resting on your front body. Four, knees together, forehead to a block. Hands back to hold your heels is the next step or no block, forehead on the floor. So the contact of the front body and the contact of the forehead is what's important. And if going belly down in a full prostration is best, 
set yourself up. Otherwise, find this. Hands to heels, shoulders wide, forehead to the floor. Long, deep, breathing. Walk your hands forward to lift your forehead until we all meet belly down, unfolding. Walk your thighs back, let your hips and heels move side to side. Check that to the left and to the right there's a little space. Reach your left hand up, roll to the left. Roll your right knee open. Roll your belly back down. Find a baby cobra. Thighs back, heart up. Right arm long. Bend your left knee, roll open. And roll belly down. To rise. And to roll. The pace is up to you. Rolling through the surface of your front body, rolling the pelvis open, rolling back down. Let the pace change. As it opens, it may quicken. And just continue, becoming more and more willing, moving past the place that feels like that would be enough. Moving into the thick of boredom and repetition, finding the plateau of the gesture, and then allowing yourself to really begin to practice. Three, 
to last time and as you roll turn onto your back you move your body right into the middle of your mat let your legs walk out long shake out your feet side to side shake out your knees up and down turn your palms open thumbs point away from your body tuck your shoulder blades under your spine noticing how your outer body becomes still and the inner body is still in movement, in motion. Let it carry an inner current. fingertip to where your eyebrows meet and then two fingers width above that find softening an indentation and with the very edge of your fingernail a slight mark hold there just hold the fingernail resting lightly in the forehead releasing your hand to the floor and notice that space forehead center. On your inhale, sweep your awareness, your attention from the soles of your feet up to that point. And then on the exhale, from the third eye center down and out the feet. Begin to sweep your energy through your body. Slightly pause at the peak of your inhalation. A sensation of light gathering in the midbrain. And then release. the effort and simply reside, notice. You are a being of light. You are an extension of the great good of the world. Pause there. Rolling through the right side, bring yourself up into a cross leg.
resting in all that you've made. Begin to just smile that nothing else needs to be done. The spine is tall, the chest is broad, the seat is rooted. Feel the breath in and out of your body. The way that your body encounters your clothes. Notice what you can hear in the space around you. Feel into the space around you, the familiarity in your mind's eye of the walls and the floor and the furniture. And then in your mind's eye, go beyond that to the left, to the next room, to the space outside, to the right, to the front, to the back, to what's beneath you, to what's above you, go larger in your mind's eye. Hold more space in your awareness. We are vast beings. And with nothing else changed, feel the movement of breath in and out through your nostrils. Smooth and symmetrical inhale matches exhale. As you breathe in, feel the breath move through both nostrils up to that mid-forehead point where you put your fingertip. And on your exhale, come back out to widening lines of light out the nostrils. So breathing in and up from two points becoming one. Out from the forehead center, out both nostrils, one becomes two. And then in the left side only, up to the forehead center. On the exhale, out right. On the inhale, in right, up to the forehead center. Exhale, out left. And that's one. Continuing in and up. Out and down right. In and up. Out and down left. Now set your count at 15. In and out to the forehead center. Exhale out right. In right. Out left, 14. Each time you go down one. Any pause at the forehead center on the inhale. The brightening of that space and then a release. Keep going.
rest in the quiet. the morning behind me. Feel the body soften, release your opinions at a structural level, assumptions and expectations. And hint of a smile. All that remains is your life. that in this light is all light, in this light is all guidance, in this light is all support and companionship. All that we seek, make space to receive it. as long as you like. As you're ready, sweep wide and try palms to back. Bring your thumbs to the forehead center, mind's eye, open and clear. Satnam, I bow to this great space, this reunification with who I am. Inhale. Times when it is not easy to see the change you've made from the work we've just done. Give yourself a moment or two as you write. I find that I start by greeting myself on my page. Right now it's hard to form cogent, direct thoughts perhaps. But if I write, hello, beloved. Thank you for taking time. Thank you for, and see what follows, because you are thanking you. You are noticing the qualities by which you are making the change you're seeking. Hello, beloved. Thank you for practice. Thank you for. Make space. Let your hand move. Let yourself be spoken to like that magic eight ball. At Saturday, we'll begin to turn upside down. The next four Saturdays, we'll work on inversions. So this weekend, we'll do a headstand tripod. The following, we'll take that tripod up a little higher, broadening through the collarbone, strengthening through the center. This axis is made to work upside down and right side up. 
Let it be strong and supple in all ways. That would be sad today. And Sunday I'll be back right here at 8 a.m. Keep coming. Keep coming. Thank you so much. I'll see you soon.